Hey guys, what's up? Murder of Birds here. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to be jumping into the next chapter of Ruby Volume 7 with Chapter 4. This is going to be my reaction to it. And I'm speaking with a little bit of foresight before we jump into it because by the time this goes up on the channel for the live premiere or the normal upload schedule, um, it would have already passed. But for those of you in the States, happy belated Thanksgiving. Hopefully you guys had a very festive, a very uh, safe, relaxing, and enjoyable um, Thanksgiving weekend, uh, you know, linking up, traveling, seeing friends and family, eating a lot of food, hopefully, be safe on Black Friday. It's crazy out there, especially, you know, in the States, unfortunately, but, um, you know, uh, it's kind of like a festive thing, and I know there's a lot of people that are going to be doing this kind of thing as the holidays are ramping up as well with traveling, seeing friends and family. I haven't really been able to see my friends or family since Ruby has started because I've been just, I've had my head down for so long, just working on content, you know, the reactions, the reviews, the discussions, so this next week is going to be kind of like an R&R &R session for me. I'm going to be hanging out with some of my friends tomorrow. I'm going to be seeing my mom and my brother next week, and I hope you guys are able to do the same and hopefully. Hopefully it's enjoyable and exciting for all of you. Um, you know, as Ruby is continuing, you know, we always have something to look forward to um, during the weekend. So I hope you guys had, uh, again, had a very safe, relaxing, enjoyable Thanksgiving, a safe uh, Black Friday experience for those, you, for, for those of you veterans who participate in it. I'm more of an online guy and there's Cyber Monday coming around the corner. Uh, but with all that said, we're going to be jumping into the fourth chapter of Ruby. Very excited for this off of the heels of the Aesop's. Uh, le um, episode, I almost said level, episode last weekend, um, an incredibly well old machine, Rooster Teeth and the Kruby did a great job at giving us five additional characters that are incredibly likable, um, the polls are kind of in and most people consider Har Harriet Bree to be their absolute favorite, which is, she's just killing it by a landslide, which is insane, both on Twitter and on YouTube, so um, I'm very taken of her, of Marrow, and of Elm, I think those are my three favorite right now, um, I want to like Vine Zeki, I feel like he's getting, the, he's getting shafted because there's not much to him beyond just like his semblance and what we've seen of him but hopefully more of these characters get flushed out as the volume and as the atlas arc progresses um last week's episode was one of the best of the series i gushed about it so much during the reaction and after the reaction um a really good display of the, the the talent gap, the experience gap between Team Ruby and these top tier, you know, military huntsmen. You know what I mean? Especially when you consider the fact that Team Ranger and Aesop's both fought different tier geist and they both had different methods and different outcomes drastically. Like one was like flair and finesse the other one was just like stumbling as they went through it so i really enjoyed that overall um i really don't know what this episode's gonna deliver but the first phase of the operation of getting the launch site prepped and ready for amity coliseum is underway i know that ruby and weiss were part of the thumbnail so i'm, I'm wondering if we're going to get a little bit of moments and interactions between them it's also a 17 minute chapter so the consistency in the runtime for volume 7 has been staggering and also Shout out to Eddie Revis because he kind of went on he went on Twitter a couple of days ago and confirmed that he wrote this episode. So one of the new writers wrote this episode. And I'm, I'm a big fan of Eddie and his previous work at RT, RVB season 10. Uh, I haven't seen Nomad of Nowhere or Camp Camp, but I vouch and, you know, but people have vouched that those shows are really fun and, and exciting and enjoyable. So really looking forward to what Eddie brings to the table overall. Uh, but with all of that said, I'm not going to waste any more time rambling and all that stuff. I do appreciate all the support you guys have shown the channel over the last month or so. And, uh, you know, I just hope you guys continue to enjoy the content, the reactions, the reviews, the live stream discussions, the little mini, like, uh, you know, Easter egg and shit posting videos here and there. It all it, it all really helps out the channel and it gives me a lot of confidence to continue to do it. So thank you guys so much. But with all that said... Let's get into it. All right, guys, we're going to be jumping into Ruby Volume 7 with Chapter 4 titled Pump and Circumstances. 17 minutes, 48 seconds. Very excited about the runtime consistency. 17 minutes on average per episode, which is really good. Shout out to Eddie again. Really looking forward to seeing what you deliver this chapter. And without further ado, as always, thank you guys for your continued support. Be sure to leave any of your thoughts in the comment section down below. And without further ado, we're going to be starting this in 3, 2, 1, now. All right, here we go. I have closed captions on as well, just so I can pick up what's being said if I'm popping off or if anything crazy is happening. All right, here we go. I know the lyrics. All right, here we go. Keep dreaming about a better world. You keep wishing for some clarity. Always hoping that a lightning bolt is going to save you from this gravity. You're holding out for some romantic life. Maybe you'll wake up in a world of charm. Oh, but what tickets set you free? You don't have to dream. Your life's a masterpiece. If you just believe, and all 
you see is all you need. Right now your hopes are shattered, just pointless ever after. But in time you'll find through love your power just shines. I love you, Penny! When you don't know where to turn to And you're sure all hope is gone When the day you waited for won't come And dark won't yield to dawn Trust love And open up your eyes Trust love The truth is there But sometimes in disguise The way's uncertain but we're together Moving towards the light When we trust in love and open up our eyes. Let's go! Woo! Very excited. All right, here we go. Another chapter right off the bat, right after the mission. Oh, trucks, who are they? Are we gonna see, are we gonna see Neon Cat and Flint Cole? I really hope we see them at some point. What the heck? Oh, what the heck? Giant ass airship? Oh, wow, already? That's not immediate. What? Ooh, who's that? Oh, oh, she she's one of Robin's. She's got the emblem. Robin spies? Hello? Mantle Shipping Company? Wait, are you serious? They literally shipped Amity Coliseum mid-mission and got it to them by the time it finished. <laughs> Wow, look at them. Look but at their reaction. Yeah. Oh, the way you took down that guy <laughs> without needing to plan your tactics out. Oh, their reactions exactly are adorable. Well, Aesops are hand yep. to perfectly complement one another. So oh, we can focus on our that's why they have good synergy. Behind. Some of us are all asset, zero liability. <laughs> yeah, not you, buddy. <laughs> yeah? Think I got some liabilities, Elm? Your brains for one. <laughs> Ooh. Aw, the runt of the litter. You Be good ask. to the dog. I oh, they have her! Hi, Woo! Your best friend. <laughs> Our pair name can be. <laughs> Shipping name confirmed. Perfect complimentary teamwork. Oh, wow. Yeah. I want to have my friends' backs just like that. Hell friends. yeah, friends. <laughs> this isn't the schoolyard, kid. What? <laughs> Oh but my I mean, gosh, Eddie, you go you're killing so it! Someone, it kind of changes things, doesn't it? We get along well enough, sure. They're not I count friends? On them to keep me alive. They do the same. But that's a job. We don't confuse the two. Wow. That's a Speaking different job, dynamic. <sighs> what? Duty ever beckons. The, this is, what's the third time this week? Damn, Ironwood's here too? That's a little... That's what a little upsetting. When we get back to Alice. A sightseeing? Oh, what should we visit first? <laughs> How about our buds? Oh, come on. Oh guys. boy. Yo, this they're ready to like to they're ready to freaking We've make moves. So long. Ruby, we just explored a whole continent on, on foot. foot before flying to this one. Well, hmm. yeah, but True, true. It's only the boring parts. We almost died. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we got it. I like this. Oh my god, they're hey, talking yeah. to each other more than ever. Can I get the team leaders over here? There's something I'd like to discuss with you. I like that. Me too, Crow. I like that. The team leaders. I'll you on the ground, but be subtle. If people see too many huntsmen milling around, they'll get nervous. Okay. Is this about Robin? She's got her spies nearby. And Clover? Don't take Murrow. Aw, oh, come on! He's the best, he's the goodest of boys, okay? New problems. He deserves America. the world. More of the same, unfortunately. Oh, they're gonna go Someone to Mantle. Mantle is taking up public leaders Fuck! Who speak out against I Alice. fucking hate you, Rooster Teeth. Specifically, team. people who speak out against. Screw this episode. <laughs> it didn't look like a pattern at first. God damn it, man! Kind in the last week. Wait a Confirmed minute. dead. That's the guy that rode with us after we were arrested. Exactly, Forrest, best he character. Died? Your opposition in Mantle dropping dead isn't exactly a good look for you. Huh. I'm not really worried about my public image. Tyrion, but dude. It is causing unrest. I think someone's trying to frame me. Yeah. By extension, Atlas. And it's working. And it's working. Well, if it was <sighs> the embargo making everybody so mad, people probably wouldn't be so quick to blame you for Okay, Jean, relax, buddy. You don't know everything. <laughs> Sir. No, no. 
You're right. Uh, I guess he's Things right in then. Things mental have been hard to manage lately. I'm not blind to its issues. In fact, that's what I want to talk to you about. Okay. With the launch of this mobile communications tower and tensions down in Mantle. Things aren't looking good. I think there's a lot of good your teams can do here. Oh? Are we going to be the semi-protectors of the Over city? It? Here? No, it's fine. Let him land. Let I'll him. I'll with him myself. Who? Who? More Mantle problems? No. Is that Jacques? This one's an Atlas problem. Oh, is it Jacques Schnee? Oh my fucking god. And Whitley, maybe? So let me get this straight. Oh, In addition to fuck. this nonsensical embargo of yours crippling my business, <gasps> you've also decided to oh my god. to come in here private what? property. I didn't even cross my mind. About this, you will never. Actually, I've already informed them. As this is now the site of a classified military operation, it didn't even require a Why is your dad is right a there? Vote. You might want to brush up on council law before you lose this upcoming election, John. Oh, now, yeah, Robin's you sleeping, you dude. Courtesy. The next time, it won't be a friendly reception. Wow. You seem to forget who your friends really are. You're no friend, to dude. Council seat, James, and maybe then you'll... <laughs> You wrote my mission. No! These no! Yours too? No! How long has she been back in Atlas? Did Winter know about this? It was this? my decision to come here. <laughs> Fuck you, Jacques! Just like it was my decision to leave. <laughs> I or have you dare you! All about that? I dare you to put your you hands on I'm her again. If you forget anything, girl, then you've misjudged the man your father is. Believe me. I know exactly <laughs> what kind of man you are. Fuck you, you bro! I have half a mind to Fuck mind you. To what, Jacques? Yeah, exactly. Do what, bro? You know, your mother was devastated when- What a fucking scumbag piece of shit, dude. You know how she gets. Oh my god, what a manipulative asshole, dude. It's what- it, it would make the world really happy if you performed at the event. Oh, your mother was so- what a- he's literally manipulating her. What an- what a- I fucking hate Jacques, dude. She's upset. I fucking hate this guy. They they just reinforce how much I just I fucking hate this guy, and now they know what her dad is like. I knew one day you would overextend your reach. Hmm. I didn't come here to beg for an abandoned mine. I came here to thank you for personally handing me the noose to hang you. <laughs> Did he just threaten Maybe Ironwood? This. He literally just so said the noose the that'll hang you. you threw everything away for. Not friends. Family. Yes! Family. Yes! <laughs> Eddie, I fucking love you, bro. This is such a good episode. So much character interaction. Fuck you, Jacques, and say hi to Whitley for me. God, what an unsavory guy, man. I swear to God. Oh, Winter! Wow, he the second the dad left. I wouldn't say I missed <laughs> <laughs> uh, Did we not start yet? Oh, boy. Apparently, we haven't. <laughs> start what? Oh, my God! Are they... What? It goes without saying oh that this arena holds a significance. To all of us. Amity, call it's a seal. We should be able to reconvene here, now, when the world needs to be brought wow, together. Wow, this is that. such a throwback. The road you traveled from our first meeting hasn't been easy. Yang versus Mercury, you Penny your versus Piero. <laughs> we fought for the world in the innocent at Haven Academy and beyond. Yes. You face down terrors people can't even fathom. Yes, and they are standing on the top. Of it's the behavior. Of, hun of huntsmen, yes, and huntresses. God, this is such a such a wholesome episode. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. are they getting approved? Are they official? Wait. Oh! Oh my God! Are being granted your huntsman licenses. <laughs> they graduated Today. early, I know this but is coming a little ahead of schedule. But wow! I only regret that I couldn't do something a little more <gasps> ceremonious for the occasion. Wow! I. We 
We're honored. Gentlemen. Hell yeah! You guys still have a lot to learn. With the threat of sailors <clears throat> still out there and tensions rising you got in our kingdom. Okay, okay. I certainly could use more trustworthy they... fighters by my Trustworthy side. fighters, please! So lucky please! This is the best time to tell him! It's That's like... okay. It's a big moment. It's like he's giving and you a chance! To celebrate here. When this tower is ready and communications are back up and running, we'll tell the world about Satan and face down whatever comes at us after that. Together. This is so sincere. There's no fucking way he's lying and holding things from you. That's just about all the pomp I have in me. <laughs> if you'll excuse me, I have to get back to running this operation. Okay. Uh, well then, enjoy the cake. The cake? There's cake? Where? I want cake. Your speech outros are improving, sir. <laughs> After everything we've been through. God, this is, this is what I wanted so in the first place. awesome, man. When Crazy. Fell, I didn't think this would even be possible. They all just got it what they what they worked now. for. Jeez, guys, lighten up a little. Enjoy <laughs> yourselves for a change. Yeah. You've earned it. Hell I yeah, know. dude. Someone said it. <laughs> Let's kill some cake, huh? Yeah! I can eat two slices before Ren even eats one. <laughs> Who says I can't? Who says it, huh? Nora, <laughs> nobody is arguing with you about this. Yeah, Nora can eat everybody what? under the table. Yo, the cake is true! It's not a lie. Oh, she has her swords! She still has the swords! Holy shit! Uh oh. <laughs> okay. It's funny. Ah, uh, selfie. Uh, kiddo. It's definitely a lot to take in. Oh my God, Eddie! Dude, there's so much part, character interaction. Not quite disclosing everything to Ironwood part, <laughs> or all of the above. Wow. <laughs> all of the above. Everyone's just I'm engaged. To do what I think is best, but I'm not but sure if what's best is what's I right. Really can't tell hey, we got all the content right. of the trailer or finally. No different from Oz. Ruby, Oz <clears throat> only trusted himself with the whole truth. Yeah. You're trusting others. Mm hmm. But you're making sure they prove themselves first. Yeah. I think that's a, a big, big dig difference. difference. I, I guess so. that's the distinction ultimately. This says I'm a huntress now. You gotta but start. I don't feel like I know much more than I did at Beacon. Still, Bad there's always room to improve. Never goes away. <laughs> Your mom. Ah! Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, are you really going? Your last mission. <gasps> are you? Is that another Oz secret? Are you serious? No, there were a lot of those back in our day. But are we really getting summer. summer? When she didn't come back, Ospin seemed just as in the dark as myself. <laughs> Still, who knows what he may have hidden from us over the years. What do you think she would have done? Wow. If she learned the truth about Satan. Oh my god, Eddie! She can't be Eddie destroyed. Revis! Pressed on, I think. Like you. She was always the best. This actor. is a fantastic chapter, a man! Brat, though. <laughs> I, I like brats. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ruby. God, I Come love them. I love this just reinforces why I love these characters. Oh my gosh, is that a mission board? This is literally is them go? to a T. Can we ride a mega live? Oh Stop my god, another me. mission board? Oh, perimeter defenses, that? bounty, search and destroy. It smells like It's like volume two. Fresh meat. Wow. That's odd. I don't smell meat. I smell cake. <laughs> Neither do I. Uh, look at these two you know parallel what? opposites. Mind. Let me get this. Solitas straight. mission You've board. You've been official for an hour now, and you're already looking for huntsman work. Hell to yeah. Here, we've been official for a whole fifty-seven <laughs> minutes. I'd like oh, to okay. remind you all that the real mission here is ensuring the successful launch of the communications tower. I love this True, episode, guys. We can also keep training and improving by helping where we can. I love how their weapons are just on the floor. The enthusiasm of youth. <laughs> well, it's hard to argue with that. Okay. Let me show you how it works. Oh, I'm. I mean, this isn't the their first one. mission. Who wants to volunteer? All yes. right. We need someone wow. to escort children to pre-primary school down in Manhattan. Pre-primary school. Not actually in danger, Aww. but the parents fret, and that attracts Grim. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, thanks. Thanks, John. Juan. <laughs> Juan. Hey. Jim. It's John. Close enough, I guess. <laughs> wow. My first huntsman mission. Come on, John, you got this, dude. Next. Holy fuck! Nora, come on, it has to be Nora, right? Two brave warriors to 
Flush it out. Nora. Oh, but, but why didn't I get a choice for that one? <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Fuck you, Jacques. You and your chest. I can't believe this. Father, you um have a visitor. What? It's what, isn't I told it? You, I didn't want to be disturbed. It's what? Why did you let them in? I didn't. He let himself in. What? The spitting image of you is not Creepily so, I might add. He's definitely inherited your. Oh my fucking <laughs> god. Arthur. Oh my god! Quickly, leave us. And they shut know the door. each other. I said shut the door. Alright, alright, father. I, What's their rela- You're supposed What's to supposed to be dead?! That is what I wanted people to think. What?! Dead well, man walking?! I heard things about you too, Jacques. Namely, that you have an ironwood problem. Wow! That bastard is costing me more money every He's day. He's gonna double down on getting rid of ironwood with member, Jacques. I wasn't trying to get their damn votes for this council seat. What have I said? I can rig the- pick. I can rig the fucking- and eat it too. <sighs> wow, a cake pun. This is awesome. Wow, so what the fuck? Watts is supposed to be dead? <laughs> they know each other right off the bat, so how closely was he with Ironwood than than Jacques? Holy shit, dude. This was such a great episode. I feel like it was just, uh, there wasn't really even much to react to because there was just so much character engagement going on. Characters being characters. Wow. Wow. Eddie, like you have, oh my God, dude. Like you brought out the characters so well in this episode. Like the characters felt more in their skin than ever before. Dialogue moments, little quips, you know. Funny, silly animations, the moments of ca like Ruby actually talking about summer and Crow like explaining that and kind of getting into the weeds of like how secretive was her death? Because I always thought, you know what I mean? Like I always thought Summer Rose for the same reason that he recruited Ruby because of her silver eyes is the same reason why Summer Rose was, was brought up into the situation and her dying was kind of like Ozpin's ace in the hole gone wrong. And he even mentions like, oh, that's, you know, when she left, that was kind of like Ozpin was just as in the dark as everybody else. Holy shit, dude. This was such a cool episode. And it felt so nostalgic. Amity Coliseum, the mission boards. They were talking about, you know, everything that they've gone through at Beacon. Them helping out people like they're actual official huntsmen and huntresses now. I mean, it, it seems pretty, like, expedited, uh, clearly. You know, they're not at the same level as, like, the elite military. But they've really kind of proven themselves. You know what I mean? Like, the Fall of Beacon, traveling <clears throat> traveling through Anima, helping out with the, with the attack on Haven. They've done a lot to really prove that, at the very least, they're huntsmen certified. But now they're going through, you know, helping different people and, and kind of gaining the trust and the experience needed to be that top-tier echelon like the Aesop's. You nailed it, Eddie. Holy shit, you nailed it. I... This was such an enjoyable no, episode. Tactics out, the character should... moments more than anything. Like, gushing over the fact that, holy shit, we actually have pros in our midst. Funny moments like Thunder Thighs. I'm pretty sure that's going to be the confirmed shipping name as well. Um, seeing Jacques and getting that interact. I didn't even stop to think about the fact, like, holy shit, this is Weiss's first time seeing her dad since she left. They had to throw, they had to, they had to, they had to throw my boy Forrest. Hashtag Fruby, you know, the Fruby movement is, is dead and gone, unfortunately. But yeah, they, they nailed it. Jacques is just as detestable and unlikable as possible, as ever. Just as manipulative, just as slimy and, and disgusting of a character. Um... I like how she stood up to her dad. I love how Team Ruby was there to defend her. Blake holding her hand. I'm surprised he didn't lash out at Blake because she's like a fa she's like a faunist standing right in front of him. You know, being associated with a Shnee, his daughter. From his perspective, I'd assume that's how he feels. This was great, man. Amity Coliseum. I feel a little odd about this because this is literally where Penny got killed. 
This is literally where Penny died. And I'm just like, oh my God. I'm like, I don't know how to feel about this, but it's new and improved. And it's such a cool, like, rite of passage. Um, yeah, place of issue, Atlas, Atlas Academy, restrictions, class C. So there's different classifications. Um, the name, of course, and everything else. Wow. I feel like, and it's crazy too, it kind of reminds me a little bit of like Kingdom Hearts, like you play Kingdom Hearts 1, Chain of Memories, 2, you play all the Kingdom Hearts and by the end of it, Sora's still not a Keyblade Master, even though he like saved the world like 20 different times, and and so it kind of feels like this, where it's like, they prove themselves, give them that level of certification and allow them to improve from there, this doesn't mean like they can solve all the world's problems, but I, I don't know, I really, really, really liked this episode, man the interact the character moments more than anything like <laughs> the cake the jokes the, the the little like nora eating like tons and tons of cake the selfies this is so wholesome man summer fucking rose dude it's the first time they're actually talking about her like she actually exists and we got the flash of her like in ruby's vision in the in the last episode of volume six so i really hope they follow up with that at least like look at this this is so awesome man i love this moment i love the crow and ruby moment that's probably my favorite moment of the episode and then this is very reminiscent of a volume two because this is you know they did the whole missions they weren't old enough or they weren't like at a high enough um like uh school year to do certain missions but now they can do whatever they want so Jean's escorting preschool kids to, uh, that's so adorable. And then everybody else is actually like going and fighting Grimm. So I wonder if they're going to showcase that. Seeing, um, seeing Whitley was interesting. I, I just had no idea that these two had history. I mean, there've been theories, you know what I mean? That these two are related or, or something like that, but business partners maybe, or something of that effect. He's supposed to be dead. So the fact that he's still alive, that's even crazier. Like dead man walking, no one would ever suspect Watts. He's a disgraced Elysian scientist that's supposed to be dead and he's alive. And now he's going to rig the, it, it's based on the intro. He's going to rig the vote, the voting pro, the election, get Jacques on that board and simultaneously take down, take down Ironwood for Jacques and for whatever vendetta Watts has in store for him. Great chapter overall. Eh, oh my God, Eddie. Like, I, I'm pretty sure Eddie didn't, like, solely do this episode, but he, like, wrote, like, he, like, he wrote this episode. Um, this was such a phenomenal, fantastic chapter, man. Like, it's, I really hope other people enjoy it as much as I did, because this is so, like, the amount of character m interaction, the moment, the, the, the amount of characters just simply talking to each other and feeling human is something that, I like, I don't think we've really seen that since, well, the last, like, immediate episode that i remember that i remember is like rest and resolution from volume five when they're all like sitting around the the table eating and reminiscing and catching up um but this feels like so much so like it feels way more magnified than that um i don't know it just feels refreshing it feels nostalgic and and it's kind of reinforces how much these characters have gone through and how far they've come and it's great to just see and i'm, and I'm happy about it i'm happy for it but Ultimately, guys, that is my reaction. Um, very great episode overall. I feel like there wasn't really much to kind of dissect, um, you know, just because it was a very character interaction oriented episode. Uh, seeing some faces again, getting some more interact, you know, some moments in general and just maybe prepping for what the, the characters are going to be doing while in Mantle. Like they're basically the hero, you know, the, the, they're, they're, they're the officials that are going to be dealing with a lot of the crime and and overall issues of the of the lower part of the city. But Ultimately, I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. As always, leave your thoughts in the comments, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.